All right. I'm going to interview Tom Schof. I told you it was coming earlier. There you go. Get that from me. <laughs> How's it going, man? Everything is going fantastic. We are about uh, 20 minutes away from showtime and uh, feeling good. Ready to uh, go out there and put on a performance and sail off into the sun. All right. Um, with that being said, is there a certain way you'd like to end it today? On my feet. <laughs> yeah that's the best way that i can describe that yeah nobody wants to end their career on their back you know so yeah i would like to uh if i'm not benefited enough to win this fight i would like at least to you know go to a decision and you know finish the fight on my feet but i've got confidence in my training i've got confidence in myself and i think uh i think the win's coming okay um what's the over under that it's your last fight what's the over under that it's my last fight? yeah i'm going it's vegas odds here uh, well, my contract is officially up as of midnight, uh, and I have no, what's the word I'm looking for here? I have no reason to believe I will get another contract, and, uh, I have really no interest in continuing to brutalize myself, uh, you know, if I'm not going to be financially supporting. Right. Um. And it's not that I don't get paid enough. It's just that I don't fight frequently enough for this company. And as a professional fighter, I can't make a living fighting once every eight months. So I would say, I don't know exactly what the over-under means, but I would say as far as this being done, so I'm pretty sure that's confirmed. Okay. Um, is there, what's the biggest thing you've learned in your bare knuckle career? Or maybe fighting in general? That's a good question. Um, I think the biggest thing that I could take away from my career is very similar to what Musashi said in the book of five rings. He said, uh, once you understand the way, generally you can see it throughout life. And uh, that's kind of how I feel about fighting. It takes a certain amount of determination, dedication, and uh, mental acuity to to make it in any profession and i've been fortunate enough to make it in fighting and find that that determination and that dedication um and it's been able to bleed over into other parts of my life uh, so i'd say that's probably the biggest thing that i've taken away from my career as a whole um biggest thing that i've taken away from fighting or from bare knuckle honestly is probably patience uh I have a tendency to be impatient, and when that happens, I leave with scars. So uh, I would say probably patience is the biggest thing that the BKFC is calling me, for sure. So is that the game plan for tonight? This ain't coming out until after, so. 100%. 100%. I want to, uh, as I've said before, I want to make it out of this fight. You know, I want to make it out of this fight on my feet. So uh, not taking damage is going to be a big part of this fight. Being patient, keeping my distance. Um, you know, Bryce has six inches of reach on me so holy shit uh, yeah so i have to be either way outside or all the way inside i mean you got fucking arms dude I do, so i do have a long reach you know but uh six inches is six inches regardless of, of, of who's throwing the punch at you so fucking right i have to be very cautious i have to be very uh patient with my injuries and, 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 and things like that so it's absolutely part of the game plan coming forward and hopefully i've learned enough enough in the last eight fights that you know on the ninth one i can be able to pull it off there we go um, I didn't want to take you, I didn't want to keep you too long. I just want, um, if there's anything you could tell an up and coming fighter since you're getting ready to ride off into the sunset, what would it be? Oh, goodness gracious. Tell an you up and coming fighter. Because, you know, bare knuckles becoming such a big thing of, yeah. that I feel like young kids are looking up. I'm going to be a bare knuckle fighter. You know what I mean? It used to be boxer, you MMA guy. Now we're going to see bare knuckle kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I think uh, if I had to give any young kid any sort of uh, inspiration or words of wisdom, it would probably be don't fight. Like, I, And I hate to sound like that guy, but I know what this sport does to people. I know the sacrifices that are required to make it in this sport. And if you're not willing to do that, I wouldn't recommend doing it. So are you saying this is an older guy's game? Like, not like an older, like... Oh, this is a young guy's sport. 100%. Okay. This is a young guy's sport, for sure. Uh, when you're young and you're athletic and you can heal up quickly and you're, you're, you can rejuvenate without issue, it's no problem. Um, 
but the older you get, the more your body accumulates damage. And I've been doing this 16 years. I've been fighting for bare knuckle for five years. You yeah. know? So my body's gone through miles. And when you take the gloves off, the miles are even more thick. Uh, so my recommendation to young and up and coming fighters, if you can help it, don't fight, man. Uh, but if it's what you love, it's what you want to do, it's what you're really striving for, then put your heart into it, man. That's the only way it's going to work. You're going to have to sacrifice everything in your life for this dream. Uh, I did, you know, and yeah. I didn't make it, you know, so I'll be the first to tell you that, you know, I sacrificed everything in my life to be the best in the world and I didn't make it, you know, so, uh, it, it takes a lot. It, it, it's, 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 it's tough. So that would be my, my words of wisdom to anybody coming into this is make sure it's what you really want. Yeah. So are you going to, um, do you have, do you have a nine to five? Do you? I do. Yeah. I own a gym down in Lawton, Oklahoma, and, uh, I also do, uh, carpentry part-time rebuilding houses, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And I, I coach, I volunteer at the church. I do a lot of stuff outside of just fighting. Fortunately, you know, uh, yeah. if I was just a fighter. I, 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 I'd be homeless. So, I mean, and you, and you got, you know, you got a big fan base and, and I just, I appreciate the name you've built for yourself in this sport, my man. Well, thank you very much, man. And I appreciate the fans. You know, I wouldn't be the Tom Schoaf that everybody knows and loves without the fans, without everybody knowing me and loving me. You yeah. Know? Um, so, you know, thank you to you. Thank you to the fans. Thank you to anybody who takes the time to, 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 to give me a little bit of support. It has quite literally brought me to where I am today. Thank you, Max. Hell yeah. Um, and if you have a farewell message that you would like to leave, man, go ahead. Uh, and and your sh shout out to your sponsors. So I think it's time to get fighting here. I can do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, sponsors, Modella, uh, Zach Dillard and Modella. Thank you very much, man. You're the best. Uh, George Rodriguez, Jorge Rodriguez out of uh, Imprint Construction. Thank you so much for all of your help. Uh, my team back home, Alpha MMA in Lock, Oklahoma, RCBJJ. You guys are the best. Thank you. And then to all the fans. Uh, I wouldn't be in this position, and I wouldn't be the man that I am today without you guys. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you so much for your kind words, and uh, see you on the next adventure. There you go. And that's Tom, the gentleman of the Violin Show. So there we go. Thank, thank you, sir. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for having me. I'll be back.